Hello there. Welcome to our first lesson in the course Introduction to Financial Accounting. My name is Rachel Ororo and I'm delighted to be your facilitator on this course. Over the next 12 weeks, our discussions will be divided into four modules, the nature, scope and purpose of accounting, the qualitative characteristics of financial information, the use of double entry and accounting systems, and finally, how to record business transactions and events. In today's lesson, we will focus on the term accounting, discuss the objectives of financial reporting and also define key terms that would help you understand the different areas of accounting. So, what is accounting? Accounting is often referred to as the language of business. So just as the common language enables people to understand and communicate with each other, in business, accounting provides a common framework and standardized way of communicating financial information to various stakeholders. Accounting is a process of recording, categorizing, summarizing, interpreting, and communicating financial information. According to the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, AICPA, accounting is the art of recording, classifying and summarizing in a significant manner and terms of money, transactions and events which are, in parts at least, of a financial character and interpreting the result thereof. According to the American Accounting Association, AAA, Accounting refers to the process of identifying, measuring, and communicating economic information to permit informed judgments and decisions by users of the information. So this communication is what we refer to as financial reporting. Why is financial reporting crucial in business? The objective of financial reporting is to provide information about the financial performance of a business over a certain period or its financial position at a certain time. This information enables different stakeholders of the business to make informed economic decisions. Now, who are the stakeholders of a business? By stakeholders, we mean individuals or groups that have an interest in a company's financial information or its performance. For example, investors. These are individuals or entities that have invested money in the company in exchange for ownership or debt securities. Creditors. These are usually financial institutions that have extended loans to the company, such as banks. Employees. These are individuals who work for the company and may be interested in how the business financial performance impacts their job security, compensations and benefits. There are other groups that may rely on this financial information to make informed economic decisions. We will look at these groups of stakeholders and their information requirements in our next lesson. The scope of accounting is quite vast. It extends to businesses, trades, government, financial institutions, individuals, families, and other areas. Accounting has two distinct arms, which are financial accounting and management accounting. However, there are emerging areas of accounting because of the development of global economy and sophisticated tax laws and regulations. Let us briefly look at some of the other areas of accounting. Financial accounting. It is the branch of accounting that deals with the preparation of financial statements, such as the statements of financial activities, sometimes called statement of profit and loss, the statement of financial position, and cash flow statements. These statements are used to report a company's financial performance to external parties, some of which we've identified earlier in the stakeholder group. Financial accounting is also a specific branch of accounting involving a process of recording, summarizing, and reporting the myriad of transactions resulting from business operations over a period of time. Now let's look at management accounting. This branch of accounting is concerned with providing information to managers within the company to help make decisions. Management accounting includes budgeting, cost accounting and performance evaluation. 
It is more detailed than financial accounting and not constrained to a prescribed format. As such, it can be customized to management's needs. Tax accounting is another area. This branch of accounting deals with tax planning and compliance. Tax accountants help companies and individuals navigate complex tax laws and ensure they remain compliant with tax regulations. Auditing. So auditors examine companies' financial statements and internal controls and accounting practices to ensure they maintain a specific level of quality and integrity. Project accounting. This is a specialized form of accounting that focuses on tracking the financial progress of individual projects or jobs within an organization. In addition, large complex projects with multiple kinds of expenses require accurate disbursement and tracking of funds to ensure the integrity of the project and adherence to tax laws and regulations. Forensic accounting is another area of accounting. This branch of accounting investigates financial activities to uncover fraud and financial crimes. Fiduciary accounting. It is the management of assets held in trust or estate on behalf of the beneficiaries and other interested parties of the trust. You can see that accounting is broad and there are still other areas of accounting that play a vital role in business and are essential for making financial decisions. Accounting also provides a range of career opportunities for accounting professionals. Can you think of an accounting area that might be of interest to you in the future? Well, the focus of this course is financial accounting and this will be the basis of our discussions going forward. So, we said financial accounting is concerned with the preparation of financial reports for external users such as shareholders, investors, banks, government authorities, etc. So, can you think of a reason the government might be interested in a company's financial statements? Let me know your thoughts. And with that, we've come to the end of today's class. In this lesson, we cover the definition, nature, and scope of accounting. We also learned about the objective of financial reporting. In our next lesson, we will learn about the accounting process, users of financial information, and their requirements. See you there.